Hello, my name is Andrew Moody, and I'm talking with Brad Fraser. What is uh, Fraser? What is it from? Is it, what? It's Scottish. It's my, uh, my paternal grandfather is uh, Scottish and Cree. And uh, his name is Fraser. We're, we're supposedly related to one of the explorers who was a Fraser, a Simon, or someone early in uh, the history of the country, but I think that's all family bullshit. I'm not entirely sure. I've never really checked it out, but that's the rumor. Uh, my mother's side, the last name is Briscoe, and my grandmother is, I guess, English, her parents were, but they'd been in the country for generations uh, by the time she was born. And my grandfather, it's all very mysterious. We don't really know where he came from or who he was. He just turned up in Edmonton one day and married my grandmother. Really? Yeah. Uh, and uh, they didn't tell you any stories about your granddad? They, didn't, they weren't like... No, it's funny, my family really has... Um, my mother's side, they have no interest in each other or anyone else in the world, and on my father's side, they're mostly alcoholics and liars, so between the two sides, you can't really trust anything you hear from anybody. How did your parents meet? Uh, Jesus, I don't know. They, they, they were very young when they met. They were uh, teenagers, and... Uh, they met, and my father got my mother pregnant when she was 15, and he was mm. 17, and I was born when she was 16, barely, and he was 18. So I had, and still have, parents who are not that much older than me. I mean, they're both still alive, mm. and uh, they're both still around. But they were very, it's very, uh, very, a kind of um, rough, lower, working class kind of background from bo both families. You know, my father's family was very rural, my mother's family was very... Uh, urban, but in a sort of uh, suburban, urban way, if you will. Right, okay. And uh, so your earliest memories of living where? Everywhere, because we moved all the time from the mm. time I was born. My father uh, took various jobs when I was a kid, and we lived in Edmonton. We lived in the surrounding area, sort of rural Alberta. My grandparents had a farm in a town called Gainford, and we spent a lot of time there. Is that what, was that, so you were born in Edmonton? Born in Edmonton, yeah. Okay, right. And, yeah. and then when I was uh, six, we moved to BC because my dad got a, jo a job working on the Yellowhead, which uh, was just being built at, at that time in 64 or whatever So uh, it was. what is the Yellowhead? What does that mean? The Yellowhead Highway, the Trans-Canada yeah. Highway that's gone all the way across the country and then up into the north. And they right. were doing the very northern stretch of it in northern BC. So we actually lived uh, on the Highway of Tears for... Right. Most of my elementary school, we lived in uh, uh, towns around Prince George and Vanderhoof and Daco, Smithers, all these really uh, small mining towns in northern Alberta, right. <coughs> mostly in motels on the side of the highway right. and rental shacks that didn't even have running water or uh, plumbing a lot of the time. And so what was it like as a kid? Did you love it? Was it like an adventure or...? No, it was, was <laughs> bullshit. It was like living with drunk, crazy people all the time and right. surrounded by them. I mean, people really don't... Understand certainly a lot of people in the theater who, who come from uh, somewhat more gentrified backgrounds generally don't really have an understanding of just how odd it is to grow up in that kind of poverty and with that kind of rootlessness. Like we literally, like I didn't live in the same house for more than a year until I was 14 years old right. when we finally moved back to Edmonton after my parents had divorced. In some, some uh, cases, like in the second grade, I went to five different schools in five different towns within the school year. So it was really, uh, you didn't get really attached to anything or anyone because you were picking up and leaving all the time. Were you often alone, uh, uh, left to your own devices? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I do. I have a brother and two sisters. Okay. Did you guys play together? Are they older? Well, we, we had to. We didn't really have any other choice because we never mm. lived anywhere long enough to really get to know anyone. And yes, yeah. I was very uh, solitary. I mean, to this day, the things I really like to do, like reading and writing and drawing, are things mm. that you do alone. I mean, I'm a social person as well, or I, I suspect that's why I write for the theater. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I spent a lot of time alone in my imagination had to work overtime to sort of free me from where I was living and the, the world I was trapped in. So that was a very important part of my growing up and telling myself stories and telling my siblings stories. And, you know, when I was in the first grade, the most exciting thing that ever happened was that I learned to read and write and I could now write a story down right. and really started doing that in the first grade and never really stopped. Really? In the first grade, you're just yeah. writing stories? What kind of... Do you remember anything? Uh, I wrote a story called The Happy Cup about a cup in a window of a shop that no one would buy who cried and cried until a little boy came along and bought the cup one day. Oh my god. Yeah. Six years old. You know? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you still have it? <laughs> uh, I think I do. I think I actually really? went to the archives 
Uh, I gave everything uh, to the, uh, um, the Gay and Lesbian Archives right, right. a few years ago because I just had so much crap that I'd been yeah. carrying around with me for years and years and decades. Mm -hmm. And so they have all that stuff now. But yes, I, I think it mm -hmm. still exists there along with, you know, a novel I wrote in high school, short stories I wrote in high school and sent to Playboy magazine in hopes they would be published and the rejection letters I got back from them and that really? kind of thing. I mean, I knew I wanted to be a writer. Mm -hmm. The minute I found out that, that someone wrote books, I mean, right. you know, the first time we went to the library in the first grade and the teacher explained to us what a book was and what everything meant, I was like, oh man, people write this shit? Like, I thought it just came from heaven or whatever. Yeah, yeah. This is great. That's what I want to do in my life.